Jeez, Shane, man. He's out. Echo Tango, can you do something? He's out cold. No way! No way, I got a Sturgeon? Alright, 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 everyone. My name is Echo Tango, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. Well, it is a very stormy day, supposedly, today, so let's see what we got in store for us. Uh, so weather, it's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. A nice break from all the rain, even though I do prefer the rain. And fortune teller. Spirits are in good humor today. I think you'll have a little extra luck. So that's, this will actually be a good day to go down to the mines. Now, first things first. I'm gonna put some stuff away. Gotta put the, uh... What is it? Put the grapes in the forage. I probably might as well go and sell that wheat. And then I, of course, am going to go actually put actually put the summer seeds into the ground. Oh, look at this. Peppers. You see that? Did you guys see that? Yeah, stormy day, we got lightning. And lightning has the potential to destroy our paths, so ooh, I'm wishing luck. I'm hoping that that won't happen. No fruits today. But anyways, like I just said, ooh, grass. I should get cut this grass. Um, like I was saying, um, I'm gonna go ahead put these, put these summer seeds to the ground, and then I'm also going to get my hoe upgraded, and then I'll meet you guys at the mines. There's Pam. Don't mind the old dog next to the house. Oh, okay. He might look at you cross, but he'll never get up from that box in a hundred years. The old, bo the old boy's name? It's Dusty. Well, that's good to know, Pam. So the dog's dog back down that area. <laughs> His name is Dusty. And actually, notice that achievement, we got five hearts with Pam now, so look at that. Look at this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, anyways, up to the mines. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted. Wait, what's this? Oh, I got an aqua breed. Is there something here? It looks like something there, but I can't tell. Huh. This place does look very different, though, which is really interesting. Huh. Hey, what's this? Ooh, coal! Awesome! That's- hey, that's really awesome, you know? That's weird. Oops, stairs. Hey, look at that, guys. Level 55. That's pretty good. But anyways, I see we can actually go a little longer, because I would like to get as far as possible, you know. Ooh, look at that winter route, too. Wow, we're getting everything here, man. We're getting- oh, jeez. Big sign. Fine. Yeah. Bomb this place. Hey, look at that. Oh, I got an Omni Geode. Oh, that's so good. Not right, abandoned. Leave that. Leave it. Go. Just go. Oh, ghost. Those those guys those guys dropped some good stuff. Oh Jesus. Holy cow, that guy did a lot of damage. on. A little closer. Oh, dang it, no. Oh, Jesus. Holy cow, you're tough. Gotcha. Haha, -ha! solar essence. I'm not very good at this fighting thing, you know. Oh, no. Uh, it's time for us to go. <laughs> I think. Yeah, I don't. I think it's time for us to go. We should be going now. Let's leave the mine. We actually did get pretty far though. I was trying for trying for ten levels. Maybe today wasn't a good day for that. But anyways, let me just go ahead and get my sort get my inventory sorted out, and we'll see what happens next. 
Hey, hey, level four mining, plus one pickaxe proficiency and one crafting recipe that transmutes so I can actually convert copper bars to iron bars, which is pretty cool. And plus level three combat, that's good. Plus five HP, a new cooking recipe, root splatter. So and this is how we did for today. Still a little bit of wheat as well as um, hot peppers. And so then that means we'll see what comes next. Spirits are very happy today. They'll do their best to shower everyone with good fortune. Depends on how much energy I have left after watering my crops. And we got the Queen of Sauce. Greetings, it's I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach baked fish. Whenever I make this one at home, my two cats go bananas. I need a second chef around just to keep them from hopping on the counter for a bite. Just make sure the fish is fresh, preferably caught with your own rod. Now watch as I place the fish on a bed of spring greens. You learned how to cook baked fish. Pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. And that means it's time for me to go water my crops. So I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back at the community center because I'm here to drop some stuff off. Interestingly, I found this, um, was it this crystal? Is it called crystal fruit? I forgot what it was called. But I found, yeah, crystal fruit. I found it in the mines. So that was pretty cool. And I also found, well... Hot pepper I grew, and I found all this- found these three in the mines, which is nice. Um, let's see, where does- oh, wait. No, no. Cave Care goes in exotic foraging. So that's another thing added to exotic foraging. These three, once I- once I can make tappers, that would be pretty good indeed. Which I can make- make already, I just need to get the wood for it. Anyways, let's put this pepper over here. Summer- summer crops. Right there. That's pretty awesome. Let's see what else we got. Yeah, okay, yeah, so it's... Hmm, maybe... Don't put this other stuff away. So now it's just an aquamarine. So that goes here, under the dye bundle, so that's pretty awesome. And then... The solar essence. I can actually complete a bundle with this. Look at this. Adventures bundle? Boom. Bundle complete. Awesome. So let's see what we got. Ooh, a magnet ring. Slightly increases increases your radius for collecting items. That is so cool. That's actually really cool. Let's go ahead and put that on right now. Yeah, look at that. Anyways, I think today is actually going to be a good day to go fishing, you know, since I'm out and about. And at this at that point, we'll just see what comes next. You never know. Hey, hey! Level 6 fishing. That's awesome, guys. So, plus 1 fishing rod proficiency. The new crafting recipe spitter, new crafting recipe trap bobber. This is good stuff. And also, um, Willie should be able to sell us the best of, best fishing rod in the game, the iridium rod. So I'll be looking forward to that. Don't necessarily have all the money in the world for that, but that's okay. Anyways, that's how we did. Sold some crops, sold some forages, sold some fish. Let's see what happens next. <laughs> Living off the land. Let's talk corn. It's an unusual crop because it lasts for two seasons. That's right, while most crops die when the season changes, corn lives on. You can grow it in both summer and fall. Now get out there and plant some corn. Cool. I think I already knew that already. Anyways, watering crops. Ugh. I don't like that. Gus! Gus, I got something for you. It's for your birthday! Good evening, can I get you? It's not evening. It's afternoon. Mid a it's afternoon. <laughs> Here, have this. You remember my birthday! Thank you, this is great. We are officially at three hearts with Gus now, guys. That's pretty great. That is pretty great. Ooh. Oh, look at that slime. Chopped a wood ballot. Oh, interesting. Come on. Come at me, bro. I know you want to. Come on, let's go. Let's go let's go, more, let's go some more rounds. Ooh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Stairs! Yeah! Level 60, guys! We've reached level 60. We've got a crystal dagger, which is 
okay, but I actually prefer, um, I personally prefer swords, because swords you get to swing out like this. Crystals you can, it's only one directional like that, right? Uh, and also it's nice, you can actually fish here. Don't have my rod with me, but that's okay. But yeah, we cover a lot of ground today, a lot of good mining, but I think it's time for us to head back. We'll see what happens next. Ooh, got some ale. Okay. Come by the shop and check out the new rods I'm selling. They're the best money you can buy, and you can customize them with different kinds of tackle. Hope to see you soon, Willie. And that, my friends, indicates that we can finally go buy the Iridium rod. Don't have enough money because I think it's around 7,500. I can't exactly remember the amount. But it is a neutral. Oh, more mail. Dear Echo Tank, here's a recipe from my saloon. I only share this with my good friends. Gus, new cooking recipe, salmon dinner. That is pretty awesome. But as usual, I'm gonna go around doing my usual chores. Peppers have bloomed, and so have, ooh, all my flowers have bloomed. Oh, that's awesome. But yep, got stuff that's ready, wheat's ready, got chores to do. I would actually like to, I, I was trying to say earlier that, um, what is it? No, not there. That, uh, the day's neutral today, so not a good day to go to the mines. I would actually like to spend the time start collecting wood because I would like to make some... Make some processors. Or not, not processors. Any, anything that can process raw goods into artisan goods. So I need, need a lot of wood for that. That's important. So I'm gonna so I'm just basically just be collecting a lot of wood at this point. And then we'll see what comes next, I guess. Alright guys, I'm back at the community center. I actually went ahead and did a little bit of beach foraging, and actually, I found the last item I need for the crab pot bundle, which is this cockle. Yeah, look at that! <laughs> That's awesome, I love that. Let's take a look here. So we got three crab pots, which is awesome. Place in the water, loaded with bait, and check the next day to see if you caught anything. Works in streams, lakes, and the ocean. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and put those in the river on my farm, which is nice. And all I'll do is load them with bait and see what comes out. Anyways, we got a few things for the bulletin board here that I like. Found a sea urchin on the beach. Uh, let's see what else. Got the sunflower, which uh, fully sprouted on my farm, so that's pretty awesome. And then what else? Uh, okay, not 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 there. Was it chef's bundle? Yes, chef bundle. I, this poppy I got bloomed, so that's pretty good. And the. Uh, Next thing I need to put away is 10 wheat, which goes into the fodder bundle. Fodder bundle was where again? I can't exactly remember. Was it here? Construction, fall, exhaust. No, no, not here. Okay. Fodder bundle is... No, I was just there. I was literally just there. Holy cow. What, what am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> it was just here. Fodder bundle. There we go. Look at that. And then we're... Getting hay as we go. Still laying, looking for some apples. Hopefully the bats will give them to us. But other than that, I just want to show you that because... Yeah! Look at that, we're making good progress with the bundles, which is very, very important. Anyways, I still haven't chopped wood yet on my farm. I'm going to be doing that, like I said earlier. Hey, Demetrius. Make sure you water your plants every day. Well, I do. Although, if you're using water-retaining soil, you don't need to worry about watering as often. It's pretty convenient. Yeah. But like I was saying, just like I said before, I'm going to be chopping wood and we'll see what comes next. Oh, I have a scene. Shane? Oh, by the way, that's Mayor Lewis's shorts right there, but I can't access Marty's room unless I'm good friends with her. I only got one heart with Marty, so this will be a while before this happens. She says, oh dear. Jeez, Shane, man. He's out. Echo Tango, can you do something? He's out cold. I'll do my best. Hung over, I see. Ugh. Oh, Shane, man. Pours water on him. <laughs> Why? At least you're at least you're awake. That's good. Shane, what's the matter with you? All you do anymore is smoke around your room and drink beer. Shane's not happy about this. You wouldn't understand. I'm worried, says Marty. Me too, Shane. I'm worried too for you. What you been all around? Just moping around the saloon and out here too? What's your plan? Don't you ever think about the future? But then I realized. No. Shane and I had a conversation at the lake way back when. Yeah, he's not. He's going through some stuff. 
Oh, jeez. Plan, he says. Hopefully I won't be around long enough to need a plan. Oh, come on, Shane. Don't just say things like that. There's a lot more in life, you know. Oh, no. Now you just made Jas run off. Jas. Oh, man. I'm sorry. <sighs> He's really frustrated now. And himself. <sighs> wow. I'm really sorry you had to see all that. Enjoy your book there. Can't get in here. You're not good enough friends with Marty to enter her bedroom. <sighs> man. That was something, wasn't it? Anyways, yep. Well, I'm just going to be doing my chores around the farm then. Weather report. For it to be clear, it's ready to borrow perfect weather for the luau. The event will take place at the beach starting between 9 and 2. Don't be late. Okay. Fortune teller. Let's we'll see what he has to say. Spirits are somewhat annoyed today. Luck will not be on your side. Alright, and also Queen of Sauce. Oops, sorry. Wrong one. Uh, Queen of Sauce is a rerun today teaching us stir fry, which was the first thing we learned actually from the Queen of Sauce. But as you heard, yep, the um, luau is the next day. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get to it in this episode. We'll see. Dear Echo Tango, tomorrow we're all gathering at the beach for the annual Pelican Town Luau. The highlight of the event is the communal potluck. Make sure you bring yourself. Make sure you bring something good to contribute. The governor himself is attending the event, so make sure you're on your best behavior. Come to the beach sometime between nine and two, Mayor Lewis. All right. So as usual, chores as usual. I don't know what else is going to be happening today. I actually want to go ahead and show you my social with everyone. So yeah, it's pretty high. It's pretty high, which is good. And then I wish Leah could be higher, but no. I also need to check to see if there's any birthdays today. I'm going to go check that. But anyways, um, as usual, the chores. Um, I do want to show you something. Actually, hold on a second. Because... Um, I actually put my crab pots in just yesterday. They should get something. And they did! Look at that! They got two crayfish and two snails. Oh, that's awesome. No, I mean, one snail. And all you have to do is just bait them again. Simple as that. Literally simple as that. Anyways, like I was saying, usual chores, and we'll see what comes next. Hey, Robin. Hi there, Echo Tango. I was just daydreaming about some new carpentry projects. Oh, that's cool. Are you doing okay at your place? How's the woodwork in your cottage holding up? It's doing all right, Robin. Doing just fine. Anyways, Maru, yes, hello. It's your birthday today, I've heard. Are you enjoying the season? I sure am. It's been so warm this year. Well, all right. Anyways, Maru, it's your birthday. She loves it. A birthday gift? That's very kind of you. I love it. Four out of eight hearts with Maru. Man, everyone's working up the ranks here. Let me just say that. Pam, Emily, Maru, Pierre, Shane... All got four hearts or above, and Leah's lagging behind. We need to get her more gifts. But her birthday is in December, which is unfortunate, so I can't get her any anything that would weigh a whole lot right now. Hey, Linus, hope you're doing all right. I don't know you well enough to trust you. Sorry. Well, enjoy the sweet pea then. This is a great gift. Thank you. <laughs> I thought you'd enjoy that. Anyways, I'm up here because I came to sell my sell this wooden mallet and uh, crystal dagger. So that's why I'm coming over. We'll go ahead and take a look at the stats since we're here. Um, what's up, Marlin? I got some stuff to sell you. This and this. Besides, what do you got for me? I'm just wondering. So, Cutlass is doing alright, but next we come Templar's Blade, a level 6 sword. Jeez, 4,000 gold? Uh, I'll just stick onto my, um, onto the Cutlass for right now. Combat Boots, reinforced with Iron Mesh, plus 3 defense. That sounds pretty good. Maybe not this time. No, not this time. Let's take a look at the stats. 58 Slimes, 35 Bats. We found Ghosts. So, that's pretty cool. I don't know where they are, though. Hmm, I guess ghosts don't count. Alright. Anyway, that's, that's alright with you, then. Anyways, today is actually going to be a fishing day for me, so I'll pretty much be fishing for the rest of the day. And hopefully things will come out a-okay, you know? Ooh, largemouth bass. Record largemouth bass. It's always good. I don't know if anything... Ooh, wow, that was fast hit. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, what the heck? Oh, Jesus, no, no, no. 
What are you? Oh my gosh, no, stop. No way! No way, I got a Sturgeon? Aw, oh, this is the best day of my life! <laughs> this actually- no, Sturgeon, holy cow. Sturgeon is actually supposed to be tough fish to catch, and man, they are worth a lot of money. Also, it's required for the community center, so I'll definitely be putting it in there. Also, Sturgeon is the only fish where you can get caviar from, so if we can actually manage to catch another Sturgeon... We're saving that Sturgeon, all right. Oh my gosh. Oh, dang it, I messed up. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Oh, this made my day. This made my day. Oh, oh man. Now, I bet you can guess why we're here. Maybe it's because the sturgeon can go inside the river... No, not river fish. Lake fish bundle. Sturgeon? Sturgeon. Sadly, I can't hold on, but we do need it for the bundle. So that's why it was awesome to get it. So what do we get? Ooh, a dress spinner. Oh, I like that. Fishing tackle. The metal tab and colorful streamers create an enticing spectacle for fish. Increases the bite rate when fishing. That is awesome. So now look at that. We actually got three of the six of six fish tank bundles complete. So all you have to do is get two river fish. Catfish is so ridiculously hard. Night fish. Yeah, these two come out in the fall, so we have to wait until then. Specialty fish. Wood skip is in the secret woods. Can't access that right now. Sandfish is in the desert. Can't access that right now. Puffer fish does come out this season, but they're pretty hard and they come out not not for a lot not for a long amount of time and ghost fish can be found in mines this will probably be the easiest one wow man making good progress the bundles we are all right now before we go to bed today i actually want to go ahead and start and make some craft and make some um processors like this recycling machine in fact two of them here just to show you so I actually made two recycling machines with some of the wood, you know, what does it requires? 50, 25 wood, 25 stone, 1 iron bars. And what you can do here is that you can actually put trash into them, and they'll recycle it for you, which is nice. Uh, let's see, let's say I want to put in the broken glasses, and this trash right here. All I have to do is just, well, toss it in there, and they'll produce something. Also, yeah, I found this rice pudding in a trash can. So, man, lucky finds sometimes. Lucky finds. And also, since we're at it, let's take a look at the crafting again. Um, hmm. Preserves jar. Yeah, let's go ahead and make the preserves jar. So, what is that? 50 wood. So, 50 wood. Um, you know what? Actually... Hold on a second. I also want to make a tapper for the maple tree because we're going to need that maple syrup eventually. Um, so the 50 wood... No, not here. Um, I forgot how much stone. Was it 40 stone? I, forgot, I think it was 40 stone. Oops. And 8... And 8 coal and 2 copper bars. So let's take a look at that. So we can make our preserves jar. So that was that, 50 wood, 40 stone, 8 coal, and then let's make our tapper, 40 wood, 2 copper bars. Yeah, look at that, guys. So let's put this tapper here. In time, we will be able to get maple syrup. And this um, preserves jar would be nice, too. Put anything in there. Let's go ahead and put a green bean, for example. And I'll actually make pickles out of this green bean. No, don't eat it. No, come on. Why can't I... There we go. Yep, so now the the um, preserve star will make it into pickles. So I just want to head go and show you all that. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Okay, yeah, the the um, recycling machines are not ready yet. But anyways, like I said, I want to show you that because you can see the progress. Let's see how we did for the day. We didn't do bad, but we did make a lot of good money from fishing. Just made the 55 gold from the sweet pea. But we made 1,116 gold from fishing. So the crayfish, the carp, all this good fish. And also, I'm still proud of myself for the sturgeon I caught. I really am. But, my friends, that is all the time I have for today. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, drop a like down below. Let us know how I'm doing. And if you want to see more of my content, why not hit the subscribe button.
your help out V, your help out you. So once again, thank you all. Until next time, I'll see you around.